Hi, I'm Cheryl Rigo with USF Tech Tours, and we're here today in the lab of Dr. Bill Baker, who is our infamous doctor going up to the Antarctica. Absolutely. Thank you for joining us today. Happy to do this, yeah, awesome. Awesome. yeah. So my first question yep. is, why is the Antarctic such a fertile ground for research? So one reason, perhaps not surprisingly, is it's hard to get there, and so not very many people go. And, and so there's lots of work that, um, you know, perhaps is, has played out in the, in the tropics and even temperate areas. Mm -hmm. And uh, it's just, it's hard to get to Antarctica, so that type of work hasn't been done much. Okay, that explains a lot. Yeah, yeah. It's also, it, it, it is a fertile ground. Mm -hmm. um, you know, the biodiversity is much higher than, than you might expect for the temperature that those things okay. are growing in. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that's nice about that is that in cold waters, things tend to grow large. Mm -hmm. And so in chemistry, we need biomass. We need to start with large amounts of stuff. Okay. And so Antarctica has been a great place to work because we get plenty of sample to work mm -hmm. with. But how many trips have you made there to date? Oh, that's a good question. But it's probably 15, 20... Yeah. So nice. Yeah. So what is a day of diving in the Antarctic like? It's busy. Mm -hmm. So you might imagine that, that diving in such cold water, you need a lot of equipment, mm -hmm. thermal protection for the divers, safety protection. Um, and so just gearing up for a dive is a hour, hour and a half. Oh, wow. Right? To, to get your equipment together and, and get suited up. Uh, you have to then... Uh, prepare uh, the the boat right so you, you got to get offshore and and uh, into to the, the vicinity that you want to dive in so getting boats ready is is a lot of work getting into the water is not for the faint of heart <laughs> it's right it, it it just again that that equipment the cold temperatures the the air temp so the water is minus two centigrade the air can be minus 20 minus 30, so you get in the water to warm up, right? Mm, never thought about that. <laughs> so, right, so gearing up in the boat can be problematic because okay. it is so cold. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So you have 18 available disclosures with us now. Are all of them basically around your yep. Antarctic research? Yes. Is there any one that you are more passionate about than the other or anything that mm, it's just that? Yep, absolutely, of, of course, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, <laughs> right, we have, we have our pet projects, and, um, you know, probably my favorite project is the anti-cancer compound we have from an Antarctic tunicate. Okay. And uh, it was one of our first disclosures here. It okay. goes back to, like, 2005, 2006. Mm -hmm. uh, so that technology is getting old, but, um, but the project... To, to, to advance it to a, a, a point where we could take it to the next sort of drug development steps, it's taken this long. I mean, you, okay. can't, you can't just, you know, run down to the Antarctic for the weekend and collect more samples, right? right. It's a, it's a multi-week, multi-month often uh, project, um, very expensive. Mm -hmm. And so it's been slow to bring those molecules forward but again you know come to what are we 2024 yeah. right so in the last few years we have managed to find the the DNA code for these molecules okay. in the Antarctic organism that produces it we have put that into a bacterium mm -hmm. and now we're going to grow bacteria on our bench and produce these molecules for further study. So we're finally at the point where we, we, we think we can advance that project and, and hopefully interest. So it, right, it, it, it's at the point where it does need sort of investment, if mm -hmm. you will. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, it's beyond academic research. It needs somebody who's really interested in, in developing an anti-cancer drug um, and yeah, it, it, it's going to take a, a bigger team than something like I can put together here. 
I know you have two students here today with yep. us. I'm sure they are very much an integral part they of are this whole process. Very busy on this project. They um, they both contribute in different ways. Sam is doing analyses I, I, analyses of of samples both from these bacterial cultures okay. but also from museum samples another aspect of the project that Jenny is really kind of pushing forward um, oh, and, wow. and, and she has uh, <laughs> she's developing methods to find these molecules and perhaps others in some museum samples that go back to the 1800s oh, that's so exciting. yeah yeah instead of going to Antarctica she goes to the museum Wow. <laughs> <laughs> right? Well, we're very lucky to have you guys here at USF. Yeah, for sure. It's brilliant to be here. And the facilities here that allow us to do that kind of work is, is something else. That's great. And even collaborations with other universities and yep. bioassays and yep. things like that. Yep. It's a very uh, multidisciplinary field. And that's one of the things that I think Bill set himself up with a really good uh, collaborative network with right. bioassays on hand or um, different equipment and things like that. It's pretty fantastic. Pretty cool. So, yeah. even though there might be earlier 2000 technologies, we're now, with the IP yeah. protection, yeah. we're now getting to yeah. where yeah. we could get them out to industry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, and it, in so many respects, it's it's more relevant IP. So, okay. I feel I feel good about that. That's fantastic. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for joining no in problem. on us. It's no been nice to meet you. We are very lucky to have you here with USF. Yeah. So, your ultimate goal is to find somebody to fund co-sponsor to help develop funding definitely but mm -hmm. but really it's it's the team that's you know that um, taking something out of the lab and, and into a, a commercial type environment requires so much more expertise and not just in the sciences it also requires stuff in um, regulatory affairs and 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 marketing and, and whatnot that it's just not going to happen here right, right. so um, so yeah the, the the anti-cancer compound is is sort of our, our our favorite pet. Okay. But most of the IP that that you guys are are working on for us are in the same category. They're okay. molecules that we found that have interesting biological properties. They need somebody with broader expertise than we have to take them to the next step. Okay. Very good. Thank you so much for joining us Absolutely. today. This has been, well, for us nerds, it's been very fascinating. <laughs> I love it. And thank you for joining us here on our Tech Tour. We'll see you next time. Thank you. Thank you. Uh -huh.